Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Hello everybody, editing Gwen here. Um, I realized I never filmed an intro for this video, so I thought I would just film a quick one right now. Um, this is part two of my ranking every figure in my collection video. I posted part one last week, so if you're interested in watching part one, you can go watch it. I'll link it above. Um, yeah, basically this video I'm ranking every non-lewd scale and price figure that I own. I did not include Nendoroids in this video um, because I have quite a few. If you guys want me to do a Nendoroid ranking video, let me know and maybe I will. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I guess let's get right into it. Ooh, we have the Mako pop-up parade. Super cute figure, but now there are some new Mako figures finally coming out scale Mako figures. So I'm gonna just put her in solid figures. I think she's solid figure. I think she's cute, but I am excited for her scales. Um, we have the super cute Chica prize figure that I just stretched the photo of. Um, really, really cute figure, but I have a lot of Chicas. I don't really need this cheap Chica. I just bought her because she was Chica. Um, and I don't have a lot of room for her, so I would say I wouldn't buy her again, even though I think she's super, super cute, and if you're looking for an affordable Chica, she is a really nice option. Still, I don't think I would buy her again. This one is a Band Presto Racing Miku prize. Really, really cute design, uh, but I would probably sell her. I don't know. I don't love her. She has this cute, like, sparkly base, but I have no attachment to her. I think she's going in the, in the cell tier. Next up, we have a really, really cute Taito prize. This is the My Taito prize figure. She's super cute, looks just like this in real life. Highly recommend picking her up if you're looking for a good My figure. She's so cheap, such a great figure. I would put her in solid figure. Next up, we have the Corone pop-up parade. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell this one. She's super cute, but I don't know why I even bought this, honestly. Like, I don't know. I was, I was younger, younger and stupider, apparently because I don't even watch Corone. I've watched like a few clips of her. I don't know why I bought it, honestly. Next up, we have the Alter Le Triomphant, one seventh scale, literally such a stunning figure. I got her for such a good price and she came with a few kind of broken pieces, some paint transfer, eh. I probably wouldn't buy her again because of that, but she is beautiful. I wouldn't, I don't want to sell her, but I wouldn't buy her again, you know? Next up, we have the Eureka Bunny, such a cute bunny. I love her. Um, I think her aftermarket's pretty bad because she is such a cute bunny. I think she's a solid figure. I don't think she's anything like to write home about, but I'd buy her again. I think she's really cute and I don't think I'd sell her. Why is this guy so tiny? Oh, <laughs> this one actually snuck in here from my Patreon video. <laughs> so if you'd like to see where I rank this beautiful Rocky Boy figure, uh, you can check out my Patreon. I don't know if the video will go up the same month as this one, but I will film a loot figure version of this at some point and post it on there. Next up, we have the Spiritail Sakura Miku. Really, really cute figure, love her. Mine is kind of like leaning back a little bit, like sometimes she falls down, uh, but she is really, really pretty. I think this was Spiritail's like first figure and she's really cute. It's like the only scale Sakura, Mika, Sakura Miku out there and she's really cute. I don't use the stands for her hair and maybe that's why mine always falls over, but seems fine so far. Uh, really like her. She's super cute. I'm gonna put her in a solid figure. I don't think she's a never gonna give you up. I would I would give her up maybe, but she is a solid figure that I do really like. Then we have the East Stream Gojo figure. Such a sick figure. I love him. It always makes me sad because he is always stuck kind of on one of my bottom shelves because his base is so big and I never know where to put him, but I would not give him up. I love this figure and I've been watching Jujutsu Kaisen season two and loving it. So it's just refreshed my love for Gojo. He's so cool. Oh my God, I'm running out of space again. Ah, okay. Gojo's pretty cool. Oh, okay. So this Senku figure, I go back and forth. If I like haven't been watching Dr. Stone for a while, I'm like, meh, don't really need him. Maybe I shouldn't have bought him. But then I start watching Dr. Stone. And I'm like, oh no, I fucking love Dr. Stone. I love this figure. I want to keep him forever. Um, I hope they make a Chrome because Chrome is my favorite character from the show. But I do love this figure and I don't want to get rid of him. Probably wouldn't buy again. I'm gonna put him there because sometimes I, I kind of alternate back and forth between meh, should I have bought him to like, I do like him. So I probably wouldn't buy him again if given the chance, but I do really like him in my collection. Next up we have the Marnie figure by Max Factory. Really, really cute figure. I really like her. Yeah, I don't know. She's, she's a solid figure. I'd buy her again. She's adorable. Pokemon figures are always cute, honestly. They never disappoint. Ooh. Next up, we have the Eastry Megumin figure. Such an amazing figure. Um, just the sculpt, the base, the shading, everything about her is amazing. Best Megumin figure on the market, I think. 
she is going in grail worthy next up we have the taiga wedding dress version by tra annie nice figure uh tra annie did pretty well on her i do really like her obviously again i'm a taiga fan love the support on her dress how it looks like a wave and the base actually looks like a beach on the final product really really nice i think she's a solid figure next up we have the wedding dress 02 figure such a beautiful figure i think she's amazing i think she's breathtaking but i've never loved her face i don't think i'm gonna sell her but i would not buy her again I kind of, I, I was hoping that I would, the face would grow on me once I got her, but it didn't really. And I paid a lot of money for that figure. So I do kind of regret it a little bit. Next up, we have the A to Z D figure by My Ethos. Stunning figure, stunning price, um, but she is kind of big with her big weapon and she takes up a lot of space on the shelf and I never know where to put her. So I think I would, wouldn't buy her again. I might sell her, but I do love this figure and I think she's really, really nice. So I would say wouldn't buy her again. Ugh amazing amazing figure i love the one seventh scale or one eighth scale maybe oh no it's one one scale because she's supposed to be actually music box size um but this is the fifth anniversary symphony miku i love how her hair makes a five i love her gramophone style tutu i love that she's a ballerina again i'm a sucker for ballerina figures she is grail worthy to me i love her so much oh this one this is probably my biggest regret figure, this Nobara. Um, I paid like 150 Canadian dollars for her to get her with the bonus face and she's not worth that at all. The bonus face turned out bad. And she's just so meh. She's definitely going in the cell tier. What a meh figure. I hope there are better Nobaras in the future. Ooh, uh, my first prize figure ever. This is the super cute Autumn Miku by Taito. Super, super adorable. Love this figure. She's such a cutie. I will never regret, regret buying this figure. She is going in my never gonna give you up tier. Oh my god, where can I put her? There. Next up, I have this amazing, amazing, amazing figure. This Rengoku figure is one of my favorites. I think he was in last year's top figures of the year video, or maybe the year before. I think it was last year's top figures video. Amazing figure. Highly recommend picking him up. You can get him for such a good price. And Rengoku is a king, and I love him, and he is going in grail worthy. Ooh. Another amazing prize figure, this is the Niku Noodle Stopper China Dress version, I think it is, by Furyu. Amazing figure, love her, she's so cute. I think she's the best uh, noodle stopper I've ever seen. And she's going and never gonna give you up, because she's so cute. Oh, this was my first ever bunny figure. This is the Chika Fujiwara Bunny 1 4th scale by Freeing. Such a cute bunny, I love her. I feel like they captured Chika's personality perfectly and she has that sentimental value of being my first ever bunny. So she's definitely going in the grill worthy tier. I love her, oh, she's so cute. I love her so much. Next up is the Miku Ino figure um, by... I don't know who made this one actually. Cute figure. I got her because I wanted to have her in my Kaguya-sama collection. She's fine. She looks good. I think I'm going to put her in the wooden buy again, even though I would buy her again, because, um, I don't know, she's kind of mid. She's not as good as these figures in the solid figure tier, but she's she's not like a sell. I don't know. But I do like having her in my Kaguya-sama collection. But if a better Eno figure came along, I would consider selling this one to get the better one, you know? Next up, we have a Racing Miku. I think this is our first Racing Miku we've seen. This is the 2020 Racing Miku. She was a Good Smile exclusive. She was kind of like weird and was delayed for like a million years and just had like an indefinite delay. Uh, but she eventually came out and I snagged her off of the Good Smile International site and I have no regrets. She's so cute. She's definitely a never gonna give you up. Love this figure so much. Oh my gosh, I'm just running out of space in this tier again my god all right next up we have one that won my chica olympics video of course it is the wave chica from the chica chicato dance amazing figure the best chica figure on the market if you can only have one chica figure it should be this one and everyone should own this figure and she is grail worthy next up we have this bikini sonico love the tan love the the boobs bouncing love the vibe of this figure is just so summery. It's so fun. This was my first Sonico figure. No regrets. It's by Max Factory. I love her. And she is a never gonna give you up. Next up, I have this Kasumi figure from Mega House. I think this is the best Kasumi figure out there. Uh, I love the pose. Love the hair. Love the sword. Love everything about it. I love how the chain that attaches like the hilt is actually a real chain. 
mega house slate on this one she's great she's going in she's going in solid figure because i don't really have any kind of attachment to kasumi kasumi you know she's okay um, next up we have the murasaki shikibu from alter stunning figure i love raita she's amazing raita's amazing alter's amazing match made in heaven she's going in the never gonna give you up tier Ooh, one of the first figures i ever got this was a gift from my fiance it is the fortitude levi by kotobukiya amazing figure just such a sick figure oh my god he looks so good the paint job on him is amazing kotobukiya slayed on this one uh, he looks great and i'm gonna put him in solid figure because i could see myself giving him up maybe but i think he is a solid figure so right there next up we have the alter shinobu figure i am kind of sad that i paid full price for her because she did tank a lot on the aftermarket but she's a stunning figure i think she's she's really solid she's nothing to like write home about she's just a really really nice figure next up we have this platelet prize figure super cute but her flag is super droopy in real life this does not support at all uh she's definitely a sell oh next up we have this try any holo she is beautiful and she was my first holo figure. And the reason I watched Spice and Wolf was to justify buying her. So she like, she's sentimental to me, but I think she is one of the worst holo figures out there. Just her face is kind of meh. Yeah, her face is really meh, honestly. Char any kind of dropped the ball on her. I'm gonna put her in the wooden buy again, but I probably would buy her again. But I, I wouldn't recommend. Like, if you're looking for a good holo, this is not the one you should buy. Next up, we have the White Queen figure by Katakawa. I bought this one at an anime figure convention. She's stunning, but she is way too big and takes up way too much space, and I regret buying her. So, she's going in my wooden buy again, but I don't think I'm gonna sell her because I do love her. I just regret buying her because now I love her and she takes up all the space and I don't want her to take up the space but I also don't want to sell her you know you guys ever have that with figures next up we have the Hisako figure uh this is the one fourth bunny of her one of my favorite bunnies love her bunny suit love her pose I love her as a character from food wars she's not grail worthy she's close she's gonna go in the uh never gonna give you up cat oh my god I'm out of space she's gonna go in the never gonna give you up category all right next up we have an obviously grail worthy figure this is many many people's holy grail figure um very very rare very hard to find the um one seventh scale maka by medicos cool figure i got her off of amiyami prion for like 300 bucks and it was like the craziest snipe of my life and i was literally shaking when i got her off of pre-owned so yeah um definitely 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 grail worthy i must say she's way too cool and i love her uh, next up is the groceries um saber altar i don't know what her name is like the official name of the figure i loved her prototype so much but the real figure just did not live up to the vibrancy and kind of I don't know, the vibe of the prototype. I just didn't love it in real life as much. I don't know if I'd sell her. I'm gonna put her in sell. I don't know if I'm gonna sell her, but she's kind of one of my least favorite figures in my collection. A Tomoe Koga, Koga Tomoe? I think that's her name. From Bunny Girl Senpai. Really, really cute figure, very simple. Uh, I was watching Bunny Girl Senpai when I bought her. She was one of the earlier figures in my collection. Wouldn't buy her again, but I like her. She's fine. Uh, this is the Union Creative, um, Ray and Asuka entry plug figure. I don't know the official name for it. Really, really cool figure. I love it. I think it is like the centerpiece of my Ava shelf. Obsessed. I, honestly, I'm obsessed with this figure. I think she's, it's super cool. It's borderline grail worthy just because of, of how cool it is, but I think the execution of it isn't quite as good as the other ones up here. So I'm gonna put it in Never Gonna Give You Up, but it's, 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 it's nearly grail worthy. We're gonna pop it right there. Uh, another Radio Ava. This is the Radio Ava Shinji figure. Love the corduroy pants on this one. Love the pose. Love the sweater. Honestly, love the whole fit. Even the ugly blue shoes that people hate. I still love it. I think it's cute. He is a solid figure. But the Ray from this line will forever and always be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite figures in my whole collection. She is grail worthy. Love her style. Love just the simplicity of this figure. I think they just nailed her. She's amazing. I love her so much. I, oh, I love her so much. But I do not love the Kaworu from the same line. Um, one of my biggest regrets, I wanna sell him. He's going in sell. He is boring as hell and really, really washed out. You can barely even tell the difference between the monochrome and the normal colored version of him. I don't know, really don't like him. Not a fan. Oh, we got another holo here. This is the Quest Q holo. Really, really cute figure. I don't know what else to say. She's cute. Um, 
Quesky always does a nice job. She's a solid figure. Nothing too special, but nothing bad either. She's beautiful. Next up, we have the Fat Company Beach Chica, the first figure I ever pre-ordered that was delayed a year and a half. Wow, wonderful. Um, really cute figure, not worth all the delays. The base didn't turn out as cool as the prototype base looks. Honestly, she didn't turn out as cool as the prototype looks. I'm gonna say wouldn't buy again, but I probably would buy her because she's a chica and I just buy every chica, but I would not recommend you guys buy her. But this is the Ariri figure. I got this one for an insanely good price. I think I paid about 80 Canadian dollars for her before shipping. Super, super cute. It's a good smile figure. I wouldn't buy her again, but she is really sweet. I like her. She's cute. Would buy again. Maybe even sell, but I think I'll just say wouldn't buy again. We have Stella. I think, so when I was downloading all these photos, I set my MFC to save for work and just downloaded all the ones that popped up that were safe for work. So I may be missing a few that are actually just like bikini figures, but someone on my figure collection has marked them as NSFW and I have way too many figures. So I didn't feel like looking through all of them to decide. So I think I don't have Lufia in this list, which kind of goes with this Stella here. Um, it's from the Devilishly Fashionable series by Satom. Um, this is the one seventh scale Stella figure um, by Max Factory. Super, super cute figure. Honestly, she is grail worthy to me. Her and Lufia both. I love them. They are such sick figures. I love, 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 love them. Another Max Factory. This is the Aso Osobo Osobin, I think. Miku. I love her design. Love the little heart cutout that shows her little booty. Love the paint job on this. And the base, I think, is so creative and cool. I think she's a, she's a, she's a never gonna give you up. I don't think she's quite up there with these guys, but I do love her. She's super cute. She's like almost and never gonna give you up, you know? Next up we have my boy Kyo. Um, I got this one for like about $80 back when it released and now the aftermarket one is actually insane. I don't think he's worth the aftermarket prices. I don't think he's worth much more than $80, but I don't know. He's really cute. Um, I would never sell him. I think that just because of my, my love for Kyo, he's going and never gonna give you up. But I think the figure himself is kind of, it's kind of just, a, it's just a figure. like. It's nice. Another impulse purchase that I had was this one. I bought the Cowboy Bebop first gig set with Spike and Faye. Such a cool figure. I love them. I think they are honestly such a sick figure, but they do take up a lot of space. I'm going to put them in solid figure because I don't think I'll sell them and I don't regret buying them, but I don't know. They're just, they're just there. Like they're cool, but they're just there, you know? Uh, this Aqua I think is so cute. Uh, this is my only Aqua figure and I don't think I really need another one because she's just so perfect. Um, I love the kimono. I'm not sure what this one's called. It's by Katakawa. She's huge. She's beautiful. She looks really nice with my Union and Megumin China dress set. And I think she is a solid figure. Oh, this Dazai is sexy. My only gripe with this figure is he's kind of small. Like he's like a one eighth scale. So he's a pretty small dude. Um, I don't know. He's okay. Like, like he's a really cute figure, really nice. I love Dazai, but I wish the figure was 1 7 scale instead of 1 8. So I'm just gonna put him... I would buy him again. I'm putting him in solid figure. He would be never gonna give you up if he was 1 7 scale though. Next up is this beautiful Mai. I think I got swept up a little bit in the re-release hype of this one because her aftermarket was so bad. I don't think I would buy her again. Next up, we have the dancing Makoto figure by Amakuni. Really, really cute figure. Love her style. I love Makoto. She is best girl. She is going in solid figure. I have other Makotos that I like more that are probably coming up soon. Next up, we have this beautiful girl. This is the one sixth scale Ane Narumono um, Chio figure by Max Factory. Pachi is one of my favorite artists, and this is one of my favorite figures, so she is going in grail worthy. That was a very easy choice. I love this figure. This figure is stunning. Uh, then we have the dancing on figure. Really, really cute. She was kind of an impulse buy just because I was buying up like so many persona figures when I was like going through my persona brain rot like severe. <laughs> and I love her, but I would not buy her again. She's just okay. Okay, I think we're reaching the end here. We have Gumi. This is the Gumi native figure. Uh, Gumi is my favorite Vocaloid, so I knew I needed at least one Gumi in my collection. This one's super cute. I love her. I would buy her again. I got her for about $50. Easy, easy win. She's she's super cute. I would say she is a solid figure. Um, yeah, as we reach the end here, we have the Supersonico Emon Toys figure. Really, really cute. Uh, this was, I bought this off of Danielle or Anime, and I love it. Um, she's really, really cute. So I'm gonna say she's a solid figure. 
She's nothing like crazy special, but I think she's super adorbs. Uh, okay, my opinion has changed on this Bunny Miku. I used to love, love, love this Bunny Miku. This is the one fourth scale by Freeing, but I like Freeing's new one fourth scale Miku they just unveiled better. And I have a different one fourth scale Miku from Prime One ordered. So this one, I probably wouldn't buy again. Now that it, there's new quarter scale Mikus I like better. My opinion's kind of changed on her. I do love her, but I wouldn't buy her again if I could see the other Mikus now. Oh, this is probably my first Grail fo figure I ever bought. Um, this is the, is it Akari Kawamoto? Is that her name? I think so. From March Comes In Like a Lion. I need to rewatch March Comes In Like a Lion. It's one of my favorite anime of all time. It's such a wonderful anime and this figure is just such a sweet and perfect figure. I love it. It is grail worthy for me. She is a grail for me. Next up, we have the 2016 Racing Miku. She was the first figure I ever bought, I think off of, oh no, maybe the second figure I ever bought off of Omi Omi. Um, I got her pre-owned. I think I paid like a hundred dollars for her shipped. No, maybe not quite that cheap. She was really cheap. I think I paid like 8,900 yen for her and then like $50 to ship her EMS. Oh, those were the days. She's a stunning figure. Best racing Miku ever made. Best racing Miku figure ever made. Love her. She is grail worthy. This was my first Miku. She has a special place in my heart. Def's grail worthy. Okay, I think we're getting, yeah, we're getting near the end here. We have the beautiful Lily figure by Kotobukiya. Um, this is getting a re-release in October. Definitely recommend picking her up. She is so cute and I think she is a never gonna give you up. She's also a gift from my friend, so she's very special to me. Uh, next up we have the Thai Racing Miku. I got this one for $13 from Tom and she is so freaking cute. Love her tan, love her body sculpt, love everything about her. She's just so much fun, so cute, and I'm never gonna give her up. Uh, here's the Halloween Miku. She is one that I loved until I got her and now she kind of leans a bit and like her quality is not the best in my opinion. She's a solid figure though. I would still buy her again. She's just super, super cute and I didn't pay that much for her. So she's going in the solid figure tier. Next up is one that I will likely be selling. It is the Saber Lily Christmas version. I don't know. She's really cute. Bought her in a sale, but I don't like I display her on like the bottom shelf of my detail. Like you can't even see her. I don't know. She's whatever. Next up is the best holo figure ever made. This is the Revolve holo. Um, I love her so much. She's one of my favorite figures ever, period. And the best holo figure. And she is grail worthy. Uh, here we have the Makoto on the bike. This is by Amakuni. Again, another one of my girls. Makoto is best girl. And this figure is super freaking sick. Um, definitely my top 10 figures ever. She is a winner. I'm sticking her right over here. A wedding dress holo. I bought her as an engagement gift to myself, so I do have sentimental value attached to her, but she's not the best holo. And she's quite expensive on the aftermarket, and I don't think, like, I don't think she looks that much like holo. I don't think my ethos quite nailed it, but I do love her, and I love her wedding dress. So, I'm sticking her in Never Gonna Give You Up because she is a grail of mine. She's so pretty. Uh, this is the Gwendolyn figure by Flair. Super, super pretty figure. I bought her because her name is Gwen, not gonna lie. Uh, and I kind of regret it. She takes up space and I don't really love her. So she's going in the cell tier, but she's pretty. I just, I don't need her. Uh, the Caroline and Justine figures by, or figure, I guess it's one of them both by Aquamarine. Uh, I found this one, I bought this one off someone on my figure collection, I think. And they, they were pretty tricky to find. Love, love, love them. I think they're such a funky figure. Ugh, obsessed with them. They are pretty small though, and the aftermarket is expensive. I would say they are never gonna give you ups still. The, oof, mm, the Quest Q Shoot and Doji in her normal outfit. Stunning, 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 stunning figure. She is never gonna give you up as well. Ugh, a classic. The Arena figure by Good Smile Company. This is a one seventh scale. She was one of the first figures I ever bought and she was the first figure I ever got off of Ami Ami. And she is a solid figure. I don't think she's quite a never gonna give you up, but she is a solid figure. I love her. Oh my gosh, where can I stick her? And then we have this beauty. This is the Nisei Muramasa um, figure by Wing. I love her. I have her displayed with her bikini body on 
instead of the dress and she's stunning i love her other face plate she's beautiful she's definitely a never gonna give you up kind of figure for me she's also cast off she's really 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 pretty i love her uh, this one was given to me by a subscriber so it's very sentimental this is yui kotagawa i think from i also have another one from the same subscriber that sent me this one but I think she was marked as not safe for work on my figure collection, so she did not get exported with all these photos. But this one did, and she's super cute. It's an altar figure. Um, I wouldn't buy her myself because I haven't watched To Love Rue, but she's really cute. I think she's a, she's a solid figure. And because a subscriber sent her to me, I love her a lot. Um, oh my god, are these ever gonna end? Like, how many are there? <sighs> I've been filming for an hour. This was supposed to be a short video. I don't know why I ever thought this would be a short video. I'm splitting it into two parts because this is so long, maybe three parts, because this is so long. <laughs> okay, next up we have the Persona dancing figure, Persona 4 dancing, it is Rize, and she's super cute, I love her. She's by Fat Company. I think when you look at her up close, her final, finer details are bad, but she's really, really cute. I would say she is a salt. Mm, she's not really a solid figure though. Okay, I would buy her again because I'm a slave to Persona, but I don't think that she is that great of a figure quality wise, and her aftermarket's really expensive. I think I paid 24,000 yen for her, and she's not worth that. With the classic Saber Ultra Dress version, as much as I love her, I would not buy her again. I regret it, and I think I'm gonna sell her. I just have no attachment to this character, and she's kind of big with her dress and takes up a lot of space, so I'm putting her in the sell category. Sorry. Uh, next up we have this one, one of my holy grails. This is the Yui figure by Stronger. It's the fifth anniversary uh, K-On figure of her. She is a holy grail. So she's going in my grails list right here. Oh my God, wait, what can she go on top of these guys? Uh, oh, that one will go in my Patreon. That's a lewd figure. Um, this one is the Ariri figure by Good Smile Company. She's really cute. I bought her right at the beginning of my collection and I will probably sell her. She's cute, but nothing special to me, you know? Uh, this is the Racing Sipang Miku. Super cute. Love her a lot. Yeah, she's just, she's just beautiful. I love her. Love her tan. These tan Racing Mikus I love so much. And I actually got her from my friend Danielle as well. So she's a never gonna give you up because I love her so much. Uh, we have the sick ass Mikasa and I know Aaron's in here somewhere coming up uh, by Kotobukiya. Super cool figure. Um, I love her. I wouldn't sell her, but she's nothing like to write home about. I really, she's just a solid figure. Oh my God, where am I gonna put it though? <laughs> she's just a solid figure. Uh, I know this is a lot of people's grail. This is the altar Jersey version Asuka. 1 7 scale or 1 8 scale? I don't know. Stunning figure, one of the best Oscars ever made, and definitely grail worthy. Oh, this one is a newer one. It is a uh, Range, Range Murata figure. I don't know how to say their name. If it's like supposed to be said in Japanese, like Range or Range, like in English. So uh, it is. I'm gonna go with Range. Range Murata. Some original character drawing by Alter, super, super stunning figure. I have her on my desk and she's beautiful. Honestly, she's never gonna give you up. I'm obsessed with her. I love, love this figure right there. Uh, there's the Aaron. I do like him more than the Mikasa, but I still think he's only a solid figure. Another Holy Grail, this is the Chitanda Uru by Alter. Um, I love Hyoka and there's very few Hyoka figures. This one is quite expensive on the aftermarket, but worth every penny because I love Alter, I love Chitanda, and I love this figure and it's a grail. What can I say? Uh, this Asuka was the first Asuka figure I ever bought. Really, really stunning figure. I love her and she looks amazing as a set with the Ray. This is the 1-6 scale Kotobukiya one. Love her, and she is a never gonna give you up. Another never gonna give you up is this beautiful k set. I love these Alter k figures. They are some of my favorites in my whole collection. They're grail worthy, especially at the aftermarket prices I paid for them. I got them for so cheap and I love them so much. This Taiga I bought right when I was starting my collection for about $75, I think it was 7,500 yen, which is kind of crazy because I think she's a lot more expensive than that now. Super cute Taiga. Probably the best Taiga figure, like if you had to pick one, either this one or the one for the bunny. Um, she's just a solid figure. I love her. Okay, we got, we got, oh, a couple more. Okay, spoiling the surprise, oh no. Uh, this is the ray that goes with the 1-6 scale Asuka that I just ranked. Again, 
stunning figure. She is a little bit hard to display, but I still think she is a never gonna give you up. She's so pretty. Another grail worthy figure. This is the unlicensed, this is my only unlicensed figure. This is the 1 7th scale Violet Evergarden figure by Prism Studio. I have her in real life. I have an unboxing figure, an unboxing video of this figure and she's beautiful. I love her so much. And Violet Evergarden is in one of, is in my top five. It is one of my favorite anime. So obviously have to put her up in the grail section. And finally, we have the oldest figure in my collection. Um, well, it wasn't like the first figure I bought, but it is technically the oldest. It came out before all of these. And it is the Chara Annie Taiga. And I actually stand corrected. This is the best Taiga figure to get. And she's grail worthy. She was one of my holy grails for ages until I finally found her for a decent price. And I could pick her up. Okay. It's done. It's done. <laughs> that took so long. I'm gonna cut this video in half because, oh my god. That took forever, um, but here it is, a tier list, ooh, my camera's mirrored, a tier list of all of my non-nude scale and prize figures. I didn't include Nendoroids on this list because obviously if this video is already long enough. Um, maybe I'll do a, a separate Nendoroid tier list video if you guys are interested. But there we go, all of them tiered. <laughs> Holy, that's a lot of figures. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did I tier them properly? Did... Do you think I should sell the ones I put in the bottom row? I need to make some room, so maybe I will sell them. I don't know, I'm always like so sentimental, I never want to sell them, but I think I need to, so. Let, let me know what you thought of this tier list. It's always fun making tier lists, and I don't know, I love ranking stuff, so. I feel like it's like an anime watchers kind of thing. We, we love to rank and like be like, what's your top five? What's your favorite? Blah, 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 you know? Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all of my patrons over on patreon if you enjoyed this video you can give it a like give it a comment or subscribe to my patreon uh it is patreon.com slash collects and thank you so much to my chica tier patrons over on patreon victor del rio remember june zen nezu melinda jp leon blade retro richie and styrak thank you all so much for your support as always i hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.